The only losers are the big cheesecake conglomerate, Mama's Little Bakery. <laughs> Hey everyone, RG here and welcome back to a brand new Sims 4 Speedbill on the channel. Hope you're all doing amazing and today, people, I've got for you a bakery. We're gonna build a bakery. I think it's the first time I'm building a bakery. I've built many retail shops, but bakery is not one of them. And I've got for you something really, really, really awesome. I've got for you Mama's Little Bakery from the TV show Friends and I really hope that you're gonna enjoy it. I decided I'm gonna create uh, Mama's Little Bakery from that episode. I think it's on the seventh season and um, just like you saw in the intro, I, I just decided that I'm gonna try and make it the way I see, uh, the way I think it is more like. And I gotta tell you that I had a lot of fun making this and I had a lot of fun playing it. And yes, I'm gonna share with you some tips how to run a successful bakery because it is not simple thing. Unlike playing um, like normal retail shops that I create a lot on the channel and you know that, unlike selling stuff like um, electronics and, and furniture, TV show, TV show, TVs uh, and computers and stuff like that, unlike selling those, actually running a successful bakery in the game, it's quite challenging, it's a bit more complicated and I'm, I'm gonna share with you some tricks and tips that I use when I play and at the end, yeah, you will be surprised, but at the end I managed to to create a profit, profit, after some, uh, like, uh, paying the uh, the wagers at the end uh, for, for the employees, I med managed to create a profit of 4,000 simoleons every day, so yes, it can be profitable, it's a lot of work, and I will share with you some tips later on on this video, but first of all, let's talk some numbers. So, um, of course, by numbers I mean some information about this build, and the inspiration, I think that you uh, understood already that it is coming from the TV show Friends. And there is a small, uh, like, small section of the... It's not actually small, it's actually one of the episodes. The side story is Chandler and um, Rachel are having a blast eating one of Mama's little bakery, um, uh, like, cake. And just they just love it. And, and they are trying to, <laughs> they're trying to, to, I don't know if they're trying to sue her for, uh, for delivering the cake for the wrong per people and that's why they ate it, be be like instead of the real person who, inv who ordered that cake. But uh, the side story is them every, ta every time like ordering another one and another one and just can't stop eating because it's so darn delicious. So the inspiration for this build came from that, of course, episode in Friends. Uh, and I gotta tell you that there is no reference on that TV show showing you how the like the place looked like. We don't have anything. We only have that um, that story that they are telling uh, all of us that that they are in like order it from Mama's Little Bakery. So because we don't have any reference, I had nothing to work with. I had nothing in front of my face, and I decided to try and just wing it. Let's see, let's see how. I see, let's see how I see, hi, like like how I see Mama's Little Bakery in my mind. So I, I don't know why I went with the idea, like every time you know that I'm creating some sort of a story in my brain uh, and our mama is the mama that you saw at the beginning, she is like um, between middle age to elder, some, something in between and her kids are already uh, grown up and, and she's trying to find something to do with, uh, with herself and not just be bored at home. So she started to bake and she created this mama's little bakery uh, place and um, she's gonna bake a lot of stuff and uh, she really loves the, the colors of, of pink because it's so calm and, and, and simple and that's the theme that I went over here. I didn't want it to be super cluttered, I didn't want it to be uh, like a big giant bakery, I wanted it to be small, cozy and fit her needs. So that was the inspiration for me, the way I built it over here. And of course, of course, of course, of course, because I didn't want it to be that expensive. I didn't want to go crazy and try to build something for, I don't know, two, 200,000 simoleons, something like that. I did try to, um, to be a bit more 
um, saving and calculating in my head how, how I, uh, I'm going to make it work. And, and I try to keep myself under the budget of 100, well, under the budget of 100,000 simoleons. And at the end, I managed to, uh, to build this in 95,000 simoleons. So it's not that expensive. Uh, although it's not the first business I would like encourage you to buy in the game unless you know what you're doing. And again, I will share with you some tips how to run this place uh, um, the best way you can and actually make it work. Uh, but uh, but yeah, there are some things that you need to take in account before you're buying a bakery in the game. Uh, some aspirations or stuff like that, how they call that, uh, the long life um, goals that you need to have before you buying a bakery in the game if you want it to be profitable. So, so yeah, this is our bakery. It is small because now let's actually talk some numbers. Um, we are on the Magnolia map, which is we all love and hate both at the same time because I don't know about you, I really love the vibe of the map, but we all hate it because it's only three lots. Like, come on, people, what you can do in three lots? Now, I get it, I know, I know they try to make uh, this map to be a bit more just for the retail stuff, and that's, I guess that was the leading idea of the developers when they created this map, but let's face it, it's not really practical to have three lots in one gigantic map, actually. You could definitely shove inside a few more lots, like four more lots, something like that, and this is the 20 by 20 lot in that map, which is the smallest uh, lot. Now, if if I remember right, I believe it's not the first time I'm building something in that in that lot. I think I built the vacuum cleaner shop in that lot. So if you want to have this uh, this cutie uh, Mama's Little Bakery lot in your Magnolia map and you have my vacuum uh, shop, you need to bulldoze that and bring this one instead. Um, so we are in Magnolia map 20 by 20 and I already said that it's only gonna cost 95,000 simoleons to, uh, to buy this uh, property. And one thing that you can notice that there is a small, tiny, uh, extra um, building near the bakery. Yeah, it's not just for the look of it, I actually created over there another section that you can live. Uh, because as far as you, um, like, because you know me so well, I most of the time I do try to uh, incorporate inside uh, inside my uh, bills that are community bills like retails and, and stuff like that. I do try to bring another section that your sims can live in because I know the, f the frustrations of the end of the shift and then you need to move on to your house back in whatever map it is and then every time at the morning go to the uh, other map less you know loading screens because it's not really an open world which we all don't really like um you need every time every every time the shift is over you need to go back to your home so no i saved you uh this problem over here with making that small apartment near the shop now you do have by the way if we are if we are talking about the uh apartment in this uh, build, so you do have a door that leads into your apartment from the uh, from the bakery, from inside the bakery. You can take that door off if you want. By the way, it will give you um, an extra one by one square inside the apartment to add a stove top or or an oven, something like that. I just didn't have enough space, and taking in fact that you are literally in a bakery near your home here, I didn't see the point of spending that extra space for that uh, for that oven. You can just go inside your bakery, right? So so yeah, and in that small uh, apartment, it's actually an apartment for two sims, but you also have an upstairs area if you want to expand your family, if you want to have a bigger family over there, you can always um, put another level for that apartment and live a full-size family in that bakery, which leads me to the fact that actually to run a successful bakery in the game, I highly recommend for you not to play one sim, play two sims because they can bake more in less time. While one is baking one thing, the other one can bake another thing. And basically you can save a lot of time uh, preparing for the next shift or, or whatever 
like the way you are gonna play the, the, the bakery. Now let's dive into how to run this bakery the best way you can because as I said it's not like running the normal retail shops. I'm gonna give you some tips that I uh, that I found out when I play tested it and I had a lot of fun. People I gotta tell you I had a lot of fun. First of all Go and, and make some sort of a schedule to your sims. Don't uh, bake every time the shift is over. Pre-bake stuff before. Um, but you know what? I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start with the one really strong fact that I highly recommend for you is while you are um, having a bakery, uh, this is a really good thing to be also a chef in the game because you do want to have the um, life it's not I, th I don't think it's the life um, how do you call it yeah it's the aspiration right aspiration I don't know how they call it the long life uh, uh, goal you want to be able to reach the master chef long life goal because after you're reaching that and you need to basically I think you need to reach level four it's fine, right? It's level four. I'm not quite sure, but but you need to reach the Master Chef Long Life goal in order to unlock that aspiration, and it will make all of your dishes, anything that you make, it will make them never spoil, which give you the very high advantage on well the fact that the things that you make will never go bad so th you can bake and bake and bake place them even on the counters as extra spaces and you don't need to rely on those uh, coolers that you have in the bakery right so this is something that you i highly recommend for you to get in order to get the bakery to be a very 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 successful one now other things that I, I highly recommend for you to do is actually to put the um, bakery on 100% uh, um, like profit because it will give you a big boost to the income uh, money that you are getting from each thing that you are selling. The other things that I think that you need to uh, to get another tip for you is actually to try and reach the serious shopper perk. This is something that will make uh, your um, how it called? Uh, I believe what it does because there are few things that you need to uh, to get. I believe what it does it's gonna make the uh, Sims any Sims that will step the first time in your shop, it will make them want to buy your product faster. So that means you need to less uh, do the uh, the whole you know um, dance with them and answer questions and stuff like that. You don't need to do that as much as before. So you really want to get the serious shopper perk. It will give your um, new sims that steps in your bakery, I think third of the bar before they are ready to buy si something. So it highly recommend for you to, uh, to, to get that. Now another perk that you can get, I believe that perk is one of the perks that you can um, get yourself after you are um, completing some of the aspirations and you're getting the points. It is the, uh, sh the the store over there that you can buy it. It's called, I think, Marketable. And that makes all the things that you are crafting, basically cooking is crafting. So anything that you make your own, you're gonna sell for much higher value. In that case, all of your cakes, pastries, uh, bakery stuff, all the things that you're gonna make, you're gonna sell for much more money. Therefore, it is highly recommend for you to try and get it. It's not that cheap, I believe it's like 1,500 points, which is quite a lot, but if you're gonna finish that aspiration of the Master Chef, you're actually gonna have enough to get this perk um, into your uh, into your sim abilities or whatever you wanna call that. So this is another thing that you uh, need to know. now. Very important thing, especially at the beginning of running a bakery, I highly recommend for you not to have any employees. First of all, run it yourself. Try to see how, how you do the, the whole routine of a new customer uh, getting into your, uh, into your shop. Greet him, answer some questions, ask for uh, shopping preferences, and, and the whole thing. Now, if your sim is a sim that is a loner or doesn't like people, you do have some problems. I highly recommend for you to get a sims that does not have it or if you are into the challenge you're more than welcome to try to do that if you don't this is the tip for you try to get a like an employee that has a high working ethic i think it's the um i think it's the uh i don't know uh i think it's the muscle uh symbol uh when when you are hiring them um that means they will never slick off 
So they will, it's not that they will never, that it's gonna take time until they will slick off. So they will do the work and you just need to assign them to, to uh, answer questions. If they answer the questions, at some point during the day or during the shift, the sims will be ready to buy things. And the only thing that you need to do is to ring up the customer and you're gonna sell the item for them. So this is another tip for you for how to run it the best way you can. And another small one thing before uh, before we're getting, actually we're getting closer to the end of this video. Look at that, I, I ate your brain really, really fast. But another small thing for you is don't don't create the pastries from the bakery uh, machine. Highly recommend for you not to do that. The income is just so low, it does not worth it. Try to create uh, cakes that cost quite a lot, like 20, 20 uh, simoleons. They will be sold for 100. And uh, the most, be like the best thing actually to sell those are the pies so try to reach the pie level make those and you can actually make one pie for 40 simoleons and sell it to one like in 1000 simoleons of, of course if you have all those perks that i uh, talked about but even without the perks you can sell those pies for 200 300 400 simoleons so those are the things that are really really worth your time making Highly recommend for you to start with uh, the bigger things like cook the pies and, 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 and the cakes and the chocolate cake and the zombie cake, all those stuff. Don't make the muffins. They cost two to create and you will sell them only for like 10, something like that. Does not worth your time. Last but not least tip for you how to run a great bakery is do not restock your um, things that you're creating, the, your um, pastries and muffins and, and things you bake. Recreate them. Restocking them cost almost like the amount of money that you sold them. By uh, creating them, you can spend only third of the amount of restocking. Only remake them. Do not restock them. Now those were my tips for how to run this bakery the best way you can and at the end you will make tons of money if you just follow them. If you have your own uh, tips to share with all of us, feel free to leave a comment with your own ones in the uh, comment section down below. Something that I didn't know and I will like, I will even pin as the first comment. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more builds just like this and even better. And of course the build itself is at the gallery for you to download and enjoy and trade files in the description down below for 30 days only so make sure to get it now until the next time keep that seems party going for me enjoy the tour because architect is signing off